That storm, Chief Meteorologist Rachel Plath tracking your morning drive. But first, let's get you down to Cardio News Channel 13's Angelica Lombardi live in Walsenburg, where again, the interstate just opened. Angelica? James and Heather, as you've just mentioned, that interstate did just reopen, and drivers are slowly starting to get back onto the interstate. But earlier today, when we spoke with several stranded drivers, a lot of them said they have to stay here tonight. Drivers stranded, forced to exit in Walsenburg because of whiteout conditions in New Mexico. It's been like this all day. It's, it's been truck on top of truck. It's been chaos. Some drivers have been stranded for days. I got here, and with this oversized load, I couldn't go into New Mexico on Sunday. So I had to sit and wait. This band's tour is now on hold because of the closure. We drove right into the middle of it. Uh, we were on our way to Trinidad, and we got hit with the snow pretty hard on the way there. It's way over capacity. <laughs> it's, it's usually not quite this many. We're not supposed to have this many, I don't think. Truckers are forced to stay here overnight, but for at least one man, he says this is nothing compared to what he's experienced in the last 40 years. I've seen a lot worse. This wasn't bad at all. Well, I started driving in Anchorage, Alaska, <laughs> I've seen some pretty bad storms. Until the road reopens, drivers have no choice but to wait. I think we're going to have to wait till the morning. After we had one van end up losing control and going off the road, we decided it's probably best that we pull over somewhere and sleep for the night. It's something truckers get used to traveling through Colorado. When winter comes, you end up sitting if you haul oversized loads. You know, there's nothing I can do about it, so there's no sense in being upset about it or anything. And. And state police are asking drivers whether you're heading out right now or waiting it out and heading out in the morning. They ask that you do use caution because the reason they had to close down the interstate was because of all the snow drifts down in New Mexico. So either way, they say just to give yourself extra time. Live in Walsenburg, Angelica Lombardi, KRDO News Channel 13.